Hey, 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 yay! I'm back here on the sofa. Happy New Year. I got my coffee and we are ready to go for this year. Hey, Run Junkies, welcome to Runners Without Limits TV and Happy New Year. The winter holidays are behind us and it's time to look ahead at what 2022 will bring. It's not about New Year's resolutions, but rather a chance to dream, a, you know, chance to think ahead. Today, I'm going to go into my personal journey as I share with you my goals for the coming year, such as they are. Setting long-term goals for the year can be tricky. So over on the podcast this weekend, Jen and I are gonna talk about how to approach setting your race and fitness goals long-term. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the podcast so you, you can subscribe. It's not out yet, it's coming. Now I like to look at the coming year from 30,000 feet when I get started. I might even look well into the next year or even two or three years down the line if there's a big, hairy, audacious goal out there. So in that spirit, let's look first way ahead to the end of 2022. My ultimate goal is to go into 2023 healthy and strong. I turned 50 in 2023 and I have set out the goal of doing every Walt Disney World race in that calendar year as a celebration of that. It's an anniversary year for Dopey and the marathon. And at the end of all of it, I wanna be able to celebrate in the best way that I can. So this means in order to be ready for 2023 and the Dopey Challenge, 2022 is all about fitness, strength, and healthy maintenance. So now let's start back over from the beginning here in January. As I record this, it's early December. My goal for January right now is to complete the Walt Disney World 10K nice and easy. And if the stars align like they did for the 2021 Wine and Dine 10K, I'd like to go for time on the Walt Disney World half marathon. It's still up in the Not air. long after this video goes up, you will see how that shakes out. I don't know, we'll have to see. The rest of January is for recovery and rebuilding with the next goal in mind, which is the Run Disney Springtime Surprise three course challenge. That's on the plan. Training not for time, but rather for fun because these are gonna be training runs because I hope to put a time-based goal on my plan for late spring. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I have a couple of ideas, but nothing's really firmed up as of right now in this moment in time. I'll keep you posted. But the hope is to really build on the strength and speed that I've shown in the last six months of 2021 and test myself once again before summer of 22. Then I'm taking the summer to maintain my base building. I wanna make sure I'm finishing summer as healthy as possible. The two to three months over the summer will have some running, but just as much strength and mobility built in as well. Because I want to start Dopey Challenge training as healthy as I can possibly be. That is my goal. So that's late summer. And for the rest of 22, my end game is Dopey 23 with a likely stop off at the 22 wine and dine. Now, depending on how I'm feeling at that moment when I start Dopey training. I may go for Fortitude again for time. That's the 10K up in Fort Collins. But we're going to have to see how the year shakes out. So to recap, by season. winter is the, 10, the Disney 10K and half, followed by recovery and rebuild for springtime surprise as a training run, a to-be-determined spring race, summer recovery and rebuild, then Dopey Challenge training start starting late summer going to be a very full year. I do have other goals and incentives on the year. I signed up once again for 2022 miles in 2022 with Run the Edge. I'll be doing some streaker months again as well, and I'm sure other goals will pop up along the way. As for the Runners Without Limits network. Yeah, I'm hoping for more of the same as I've been doing all along. So the weekly informational videos which would sit here on Tuesdays usually, personal training update, the occasional race recap videos. Over on the podcast, Jen and I are still having a grand old time and we can always use your suggestions. I'm loving my coaching. And even though I've had some ups and downs with that in the last couple of years, I hope to continue to be a better, more well-rounded coach. I'm not perfect, but I do the best I can with what I got. The Patreon page is growing more than I ever could have dreamed. And I wanna thank those super friends over there. You guys are amazing. I've got the website, blog, the socials, the community, and I hope to see all of it grow, not for me, but for you. The more people we can bring into this tribe to support one another, the better. That's why I do what I do. This is a community. Running can feel very lonesome, but my goal is to build this family one runner at a time. So yeah, big goals long-term. This is just big picture for now. And as the weeks and months go on, you'll see how I tackle each goal as it comes. But now I wanna hear from you. 
What are your big goals for 2022? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions for future videos in the comments below. And to get in on all the fun we're having here on the Runners Without Limits Network, please check out all of the links in the description. Lastly, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Let's have some fun this year. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, remember that you are a runner without limits. Happy running.